Good day everybody. Today I'm going to show you a new tool called Curve Tool and we use this tool to create very um, circular and cylindrical objects and uh, by default it creates these objects in uh, NURBS uh, basically. So we, if we are going to use NURBS we can use those otherwise we can easily convert them to polygons also. So let me just uh, start creating this, uh, this, this shape through this Curve Tool. We come here click and draw first line first of all so that's my line and what I'm gonna create today is like a flower vase okay uh, once that is created what I do is I go to make sure you're on the surfaces not on polygons over here and make sure you select it like this the object is selected in green and then you revolve it and when you come back uh, to the grid you should see this is created like a flower vase okay now when you render it this may not be black because this depends upon how your render is performing at that time so let me if I make it uh, uh, the legacy high quality you will see that this is uh, shaded and indeed, indeed it looks like a flower vase so the previous curve tool is still there the curve what I'm gonna do is um, I want to select this and uh, this is my basically the curve tool so I'll go to window outliner and this is my curve and I get rid of this by pressing delete so I and uh, or I want to smooth it out and when I render it it looks sorry not this and I render this it looks like this okay um, that's basically what my tool is what my flower was is looking like and this is the curve tool now once this is created please remember this is not a polygon this is a NURBS uh, type so what I do is I come to modify convert and I say NURBS to polygons and before doing that I click on these options over here every most of the tools have these options over here so I come here and before clicking I select options instead of triangles make sure the quads are selected okay so that would ensure that you have rectangles created and not the triangles so I click on apply and now we can see that this is uh, the tool uh, the shape is basically uh, polygon now okay uh, so that's about it secondly let's say we attach some other thing onto it so let's uh, come to the side view again this may appear black and uh, if it does then make sure you, you're, you're switched on all lights even if it does appear black then don't worry this is a problem with your render for every graphics uh, card it is a little different you can switch to the legacy high quality one and you will see it becomes shaded which is gray which is what you should expect otherwise when you render it out it will appear as what you, uh, you know, like to see it as so anyway this is what it is <coughs> what I would like to do is I would like to modify it with a handle so let's just create a quick um, uh, shape like this over here and then what I want to do I want to get rid of the half half of this so whenever you want to do this uh, you are in the component mode so I select this faces and I drag it like this and get rid of it um, yeah in this uh, object mode and then I want to scale it a little bit basically what I want to do is I want to scale it like this along the Y axis so I can attach it to it so let's move back to this okay press W to activate this tool and then bring it closer to this object so I'm gonna stop it over here uh, not just pierce inside so I'll just stop it over here and then I'm gonna modify the vertices over here to sort of you know attached to this object the flower was which will now become like something like a you know a drinking object so I select this part of this object 
Yeah. Okay, so I move them forward and they look like this that it is attached to it. Now let's come back and select this object and convert this to let's go to the object mode and now we see both of them shaded okay now what we want to do is also not make them clickable separately one thing you know is that we can group them so we select these and we go to modify and we what we do is basically we uh, go to group and edit and we group them so what you can do is you can click on them separately also but when you go to the outliner then you can click on the group also and you can give it a name this is my uh, uh, whatever drinking uh, cup or whatever there's an old object we used to use for drinking things like this however if you don't want to them to be you know click clickable separately also you can always create a handle as I showed to you before but you can also merge these two so that the meshes also become one so for that what I need to do is I select both of these and I go to make sure you've clicked on polygons so you can click on the polygons make sure this is selected go to mesh and then you combine them so when you combine them they actually become one object so if you click on this this is automatically uh, selected if you click on this is automatically selected okay so this is what it was and uh, i hope uh, you like it thank you very much for watching uh, see you soon <laughs>